Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.47 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is A. Use the Mescaran method for to solve for I delta in the circuit and find the power delivered by the independent current source. So this one. And then find the power delivered by dependent voltage source. Okay, maybe let's do exactly that and let's set our loop here okay let's set this loop here but we know that this loop is exactly the same as this current source so this is 8 milliampere right and let's name this loop here as i1 okay and let's take a note about i delta note about i delta so we will have i delta i delta is equal to i1 because it is on the same direction and then minus 8 milliampere so i will have i1 minus 8 okay now let's do kvl at loop i1 kvl at loop i1 Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, maybe let's start from this 1.8 kilo ohm. So I will have 1.8 multiplied by I1. And then plus, we will have 200 I delta. So we have 200 I delta. And then plus... This one here, I will have 4.7 multiplied by I1. Then we will have 3.3 .3 multiplied by I1. But then this 8 milliampere flowing to the opposite direction. So minus 8 here. Now of that will equal to 0. And now let's simplify what can we simplify. So we will have, let's write that 200 I delta first, okay, and then plus 1.8 plus 4.7, I think I need calculator for this. Set up that, 1.8 and then plus 4.7 and then plus 3.3, right, for I1. That will be 9.8 for I1. So we have 9.8 I1. And then we will have that one here. I will have 3.3 .3 multiplied by 8. That will be 26.4. So I will have minus 26.4. And all of that will equal to 0. And I delta is I1 minus 8. So let's plug that in. So I'll have 200 multiplied by I1 minus 8. And then we will have plus 9.8 I1. Okay, maybe let's move this 26.4 to the right hand side. Okay, and now we will have 209.8. I1 then minus 1600 and that will be 26 point okay we'll have 209.8 I1 and then we will have 1626.4 so we'll have I1 so we'll have I1 we'll have a sixteen twenty six point four divided by two o nine point eight. Okay, we'll have seven point seventy five. Okay, seven point seventy five. Yeah, seven point seventy five, and the unit will be milliampere. Okay, now for I delta. I delta is I1 minus 8. Great. So for the question A, 
I delta is equal to I1 minus 8. So we will have 7.75 minus 8. And that will be 7.75 minus 8. Minus 0 0.25. Minus 0 0.25 milliampere. Okay, that is for question A. And then let's look up for question B. Find the power delivered by the independent current source. Okay, that this is the voltage multiplied by the current. The current is I1, right? So I have I1. And then we will have the V. The V is 200 I delta. So I'll have 200 multiplied by I delta. The sign is not important. So I will have 0 0.25 there. Multiplied by I1, which is 7.75. 7 7.75. And for that, I will have this it. 200 multiplied by 0 0.25 multiplied by 7.75. That should be 387.5. 387.5 and the unit will be what? Okay, and now for the power delivered by the dependent voltage source. Okay, we need the voltage, right? So we know I delta, I delta is 0 0.25, right? So here we have this current here is 0 0.25. And if we set this as our ground, we can get the voltage here. Maybe let's name this VA there. Okay, and for question C, we will have VA. VA is 3.3 multiplied by 0 0.25. Okay, now let's calculate that. Okay, we have 0 0.825 volt. 0 0.825 volt. Okay, and then we can calculate this voltage here. Maybe let's name this as Vx, right? So we'll have Vx minus Va divided by 980 is equal to 8. Okay, and we know that Vx, Vx is just 8 multiplied by 9 oh that should be 0 point yeah because the 8 is in milliampere so i will have 0 0.980 and then plus va plus 0 0.825 so we'll have Vx, which is, okay, let's do calculator, 8 multiplied by 0 0.89, yeah. and then plus 0 0.825. Okay, we'll have. 8.665 okay we have 8.665 four okay and we can calculate the power but we run out of space i think we can do it here maybe so the power here is 8.665 volt multiplied by the current which is 8 and I think that will be that will be what is it? Eight point six six five multiplied by eight 
Okay, I will have 69.32. 69.32. And the unit will be milli watt. And this is for question C. Okay. And I think this is also in milliwatt because this is in milliampere, right? Yeah, this is not watt but milliwatt. Sorry about that. Yeah. So this is the answer. So the question A, we have this one. For question B, we have this one. And for question C, we have this one. And I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.